going on, assassins? It's Darkstrider. Are we triggered yet? I know you saw my last video, and I know a lot of people have a lot to say. But uh, one of the things that I want to point out is, number one, you're doing all this talk about Yasuke and whether or not he was a black samurai, if he was a samurai, all kinds of things like that. And then you go on and you want to talk about history. You want to talk about historical accuracy, which the last video was about. Now, one of the things that I want to point out to you is that nobody is talking about no way. So we're about to talk about it. Hypocrite warning coming in. I'm going to let a bunch of you know how hypocritical you are to only have smoke for Yasuke and not for no way. So, basically, Noe is the daughter of, and I know I'm going to get this right, Fujibayashi Nagato. Okay, and it says that while sources are vague, he was a real person and one of the most important ninja during the Warring States period. Parallel to Hanzo Hattori, it said that he and Sendayu were the same person and his life is wrapped in mystery. In the same story, we have that Noe is his daughter, she's trained by him, becomes a member of the Japanese Brotherhood of Assassins, and when uh, Nobunaga's enforces invade Iga, you know, she's there, and, you know, that's basically the start of the uh, hatred relationship between Yusuke and herself uh, as the story begins. So, I mean, through that, we probably see where, you know, she got mad that they sent Yusuke, and that's what, I guess, starts their feud. And then somehow they become friends later on because they find a greater enemy. Uh, you know, I don't hear anybody, anybody saying two words about no way. How it's messed up, how that never happened, how Japanese people are very sensitive about their history. And uh, historically, that's inaccurate. Where is that accuracy? Where are the people coming for that? You know? I often hear about Yasuke, I hear very little about Noe. When it comes to Yasuke, you guys are all chirping. When it comes to Noe, crickets. Why is that? You know, like, nobody even pays attention to her. People, the, the most I've heard about her was that people are angry that, like, it's a female assassin. It's a female ninja. Like, that's it. That's, that's the worst that I hear. I don't hear anything about historical accuracy there. Where is that smoke? You guys always want to talk about Yasuke. You always want to talk about this game is terrible because of Yasuke. I never see anybody coming for no way. So what is it? Is it that, you know, Yasuke is the bigger threat and no way is just not? Is it that, and you know, I kind of have to agree with the idea that I prefer if they made an Assassin's Creed game where the character that you play as is a fictional character and maybe you gain the assistance of historical characters like Ezio and Leonardo, like uh, Connor and George Washington. You know, it's, it's not actual fact. Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that any of that happened. Could it have happened? Sure. That's what makes it fiction. It's the same thing with Yasuke. Could Yasuke have been a samurai? Some people say no, some people say yes. You know what? It's a work of fiction. Have you killed them? In this story, maybe he's a samurai. You know? Take this. Let it go. No way. Nobody is saying anything about her being the daughter of a famous ninja. Could that have happened? Sure. Do we know that it happened? Well, they say that it's shrouded in mystery. We don't have a lot of information. But I, I don't see where we have a lot of information on Yasuke either. I see people on both sides of the fence there. 
So it's I don't understand why we're more concentrated on one and not the other. The whole game, again, at the end of the day, is a game. It is a work of fiction. If you've ever read a book that was not a biography or an autobiography on a character or a historical figure, actually, they usually have like these outrageous scenarios, you know, like some little girl meets Abraham Lincoln and she gave him the idea to free the slaves and he thought, you know what, that's a good idea, you know? I mean, obviously that never happened. Or they went on an adventure with like George Washington, you know, they, they were like a sidebar character. That never happened. Yet we still see stories like that. And for some reason, and I refuse to believe that people are so stupid that they believe that this is actual history. It's not. I don't care what goes down in the game. It, more than likely it never happened. There are some things that did happen, yes, and, you know, they, they put it in the game, sure, of course they do. But, for the most part, the game is a work of fiction. I don't believe Connor was able to spy on George Washington. I don't believe that Connor helped Paul Revere. I don't believe that Leonardo assisted the assassin. You see, yeah, I maybe... I can concede on some points when it comes to Yusuke that they should have made him a sidebar character where they should have a main character, the player character, as something, somebody, somehow involved in the history, but not really. You know? I could see that. But they made him... They made the protagonist of Shadows an actual character, an actual historical figure. But nobody has any smoke for another person, another protagonist, being a direct child of a historical figure. So, can you see where I'm saying that it's hypocritical? And this is where we're at. Are you a hypocrite? No. You are a gamer. Play the game. Now, if the game is, like, really stupid and says, you know, like, Aliens Descended and, you know, the, the Ubisoft comes out and says, yeah, that's actual fact. They actually descended. I was, you know, I, I have historical records. There's drawings of it. There's actual photographic evidence. I went back in time and I literally saw it or something stupid like that, then you know, like, okay, we got to do something, you know, but you're, you're looking at a black character, you're focusing on the black character, you're not focusing on anything else, it is a black samurai who, you know, rose to prominence and everything, could it have happened? Sure. Is it silly to some people? Absolutely. Did it happen exactly as Ubisoft is depicting it absolutely not everybody keeps putting in these crazy ideas like you know what about if they made a you know a story about this is it fiction or is it fact are they claiming it's fact or are they claiming it's fiction you know and and in fact i want to tell you that some of the books that i've read recently of actual public figures in like the US Congress and and other places like <laughs> everything that they've said has been fiction I'm looking at this stuff some of the stuff that, that they themselves have quote-unquote written about themselves and I'm like dude that never happened I I saw your your speech I saw this I saw that I was there in some cases I actually was there I actually was when uh, you know the certain events happened and no I'm not trying to get political I'm not talking about you know the current presidency or the past presidency or the future presidency I'm talking about congressional people I, I laugh therefore anyway 
Uh, again, I think we're going down the wrong path. I think we're focusing too much on silliness. I think we need to see the story and then go from there. And hopefully the game is good. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, yeah.